Okay, my lovey, what do we have today? At what age should people think of settling down? Do not go gentle into that good night. <laughs> rage, rage against the dying of the light. You should never settle down. That doesn't mean you don't find a life partner. That doesn't mean you don't find a, you know, settle down and have a family and build a stable life for yourself. But I don't think you ever want to really settle into a rut. It becomes too easy to forget the whole flavor of life that way. You can become too focused on settling down and you can forget that the whole point in life is to pursue happiness. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It's a creed of the American people for a reason. It doesn't guarantee happiness. It's the pursuit of happiness. The desire to make you and your loved ones and your family and your community happy ultimately is what makes you happy. So when you talk about what age should you settle down, that's an individual question. There's some people who should probably never settle down, get married, have kids. Even if they might be great parents, it's not in their nature. They're wanderers, they're travelers, they're artists. It's not, you know, they're better off doing their thing. And then there are those who are meant to settle down in the traditional sense. They're meant to settle down, have a house full of kids, more traditional family. There's nothing wrong with that. And if that's at 19, 25, 30, it's all dependent upon you and your partner and your stages in life and what your long-term goals are. No one else can tell you that. Not me, not your parents, not your grandparents, not society, not your teacher, not your counselor, not your pastor. Only you can tell you that. But long term, what you want to do is make sure you honor yourself. Whatever you choose to do, make sure you honor yourself. Make sure you honor your journey. And then that question will answer itself. And that is your daily dose of love.